Hey, hey, hey. I really hope that you all are having a good night. I've missed you all. Of course, you, you of course you know I'm back working ETC. But anyway, the reason why I'm on is because God wanted me to come on to encourage many of uh you out there on today. <clears throat> so the first thing that's been coming to me is we have to wake up and realize on today, right now, in this moment, that God is able to keep us. I don't care what it is that is coming up against us. We have to learn how to believe in God's abilities and whom it has been spoken years ago up until now of who he is. God is not a God that speaks something and it returns to him void. God is able to keep us. And another thing that he wanted me to bring up is the enemy wants to make you feel like he's steps ahead of you, but how quickly he forgets that he could never be steps ahead of God because God already knows what we are in need of before we can even ask. Our main objective is to get it in our minds in our spirits, in our hearts, is that God is able to do that which is exceedingly, abundantly above all that we could ask or think. But we have a tendency to, because it doesn't look like it's going in the direction that we expect it to, we have a tendency to fall stray, to, to go astray, not only in the physical, but in the spiritual as well. We begin to, to let uh, the things concerning God in our lives begin to waver because it doesn't seem like it's going to work out how God said it is. But God takes us through many things in our lives to build us up and to constantly prepare us for the greater. But if we have a mindset like all we can get is a little here, a little here, and just enough to survive, then that's exactly what you reap. So you've got to begin to bring your mindsets up higher. Of course, our thoughts cannot ever compare to how God's thoughts are of us and the things that he desires that is in his will for us to have. But man, he's still calling us up higher. He's calling us higher to begin to believe that he can do that which he has spoken. Um, he also wanted me to bring up that in this time that he is hiding us. You know, you may have people that are waiting for you to fail. I don't care if you in the, the household with them. God has a way of hiding you to that which they think that they know and that they quickly assume that is already the final judgment for your life. God will hide you. He will cause your hands to run dry. He will cause you not to be able to know what moves to make, what steps to take. He's hiding you because he has a, 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 a specific purpose, a specific direction, a specific blessing that he is willing and ready to outpour on you. But he got to cause the enemy to go on their way. Let them think. See, a lot of us, we feel like we have to break it down and we have to explain to them what God is getting ready to do. We got to explain to them what our next move is going to be. When sometimes God just needs us to be quiet. We don't have to explain ourselves. We don't have to explain what the next move is. We Sometimes we don't even know what the next move is, but because people are trying, the people in our our uh, uh, um, current Life is trying to pressure us for answers, answers that we don't know. We cannot answer it because we don't know. And God has allowed us to get right here in this place right now for you to learn how to be quiet. Stop trying to stop trying to. It, it, it's not like you're, you're trying to kiss. It's not like you're trying to kiss a butt. Okay, you know, you know, a kiss up, you know what I'm trying to say. We don't talk like that anymore. Our lives have changed. But, um, you know, it's not like you're trying to kiss up to somebody. You know, it's, 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 it's you're in a place of pressure and it, it could be you living with your family, whatever, whatever the situation is. And it's like they're trying to pressure you to give them an answer that you don't know. 
in your in this time quiet yourself and trust that God has the way made for you know that he has everything planned out the sooner you do this the sooner you do this the sooner you do this watch and see how quickly your situation changes because you the way that God is 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 pouring it in my heart is that you have fully released that which you thought that you could handle that which you thought that you could explain you've handed it over to God and you're showing him that you trust him you're showing him that you're leaning on him you're depending on him to make that way for you that is what God is looking for in the hearts of his people regardless to whatever harshness we are facing Because this is a tough time for the people of God. God is still looking for that woman or that man, his daughters, his sons, to still be able to lift up regardless to all the hell and chaos. We can still look up to the hills from that which comes our help. God is looking for that on today. And I am telling you the reason why things have been going on so hard. You, 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 you know, I've been there and it, it was, it's tough. It can be tough, but I'm telling you when God gets ready and he completes all of this, which he's been setting you up for all this time, you're going to look back at all the hell that you've been through and you're just going to laugh because you're going to say, God, now I understand why I had to go through this. Now I understand why the, the harshness came towards me. Now I understand why when I knocked on certain doors, you wouldn't allow me to go through now i understand why i had to leave this person and that person and 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 allow your hand to separate us so that separate us so that we don't they don't hinder me they don't stop me from moving ahead and into that which you're calling me to on today a lot of things are getting ready to make sense trust God for the matter lift up your heads all you saints and just praise God because I'm telling you God is moving I don't care what it looks like don't give in to that which the enemy is trying to cause you to give in he wants you to feel that God has forgotten you but God has not forgotten you God is hiding you until you get yourself together you are in the safety of the Lord if he has to hide you behind a rock that'll be your refuge God is making a way for you trust him and believe that if he said it it is so your promise is still coming to pass your promise is still before the face of the lord your promise is in his will he is not going to stop until he gets you there so do not be defeated do not be downtrodden god is calling us into a higher level in him and it's by time that we begin to rise up on the level that he's calling the saints on today there are children out here you all there are children that are on higher levels than the adults than the parents they have more trust in God from the moment that they were formed in their in their mother's wounds God spoke to them and these children are coming out preaching and teaching how much more is it that we should begin to rise up on that level and allow God to take us into the place into the atmosphere into the different newness that he wants to place into us like he has anointed these kids to do We're supposed to be out here doing the same thing. Here we are supposed to be showing the generation how to do it. And yet some of the younger generation is showing us how to do it. I mean, come on now. We got to rise. We have got to rise. Every day, all of this chaotic things going on in the world, it just sickens me. And I just know that. We have to start getting our lives together. This is not a game. Uh, Last week, I I kept hearing God say that he's he's hiding us. But he also keeps uttering to my heart how important it is for us to work while it's day. Because when night comes, no man can work. You can't do anything when this darkness overtakes this world we got to get out here and start walking in the the purposes that god is calling us to 
knowing and trusting that if he's calling us to it, he is confident that we can do it. And I don't care if you start off with nobody listening to you. When I started off with my channel, I I preached to God. I, I preached to God. Nobody listened. And the reason why God allowed people to finally start tuning in was because I never gave up. I kept doing it every day faithfully not because I wanted people to subscribe but I have a heart that wants people to know that you will live and not die that you can overcome the pain you can overcome the hurt there is light outside of the darkness you're currently in it is nothing but most of the times it's, it's a distraction from the enemy that will do anything in its power to keep you from waking up and discovering who you are. Because once you discover who you are and you begin to walk in that and believe and allow the power of God to work through you, the enemy can do nothing. The enemy can do nothing. And that is why he works 24 hours a day, seven days a week to keep you in a downtrodden state because that is his will for your life. He wants you to be dead. Everything around you to die because you get so stuck in a move that you can't shake. And if you don't catch yourself, like most of us, we tend to battle with it. I used to battle with it. I got tired of it. I overcame it. Not by myself. It was a tough battle. I had to submit to God. If I had not submitted, I would have still been fighting that same battle. And I mean, it was an everyday thing. I understand what most of you all be. When I read the comments, I, I know where you're coming from. <clears throat> I know where you're coming from. When you all write those emails and, and I, I feel you 100%, I read, I read and I respond as God allows me to respond. Whatever he tells me, that's what I give to you. Whatever he say, that's what you're going to get. And it's just so important, you all, that we begin to just let go and just let God. So I'm going to go on ahead and end it there and if anybody um, does need to contact me through email, you can reach me at N-O-W-E-A-P, as in Paul, O-N-6-1 at gmail.com. It may take me some time because sometimes the emails are kind of overflowing, but I will get to you. Um, so just be patient with me. Well, you all be blessed and have a good night. And as you know, as God begins to outpour, I'm going to come on again. You all have a good night and I love you guys.